I'm Gary Gump, and welcome to Portions This Week for 26 August 2016. Today our guests were Gary Crosby, our town planner, followed by Rich Rayner, our town administrator. Good morning, Gary, and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank Good you very you much. Back. Pleasure to be here. All right. We should do this more often. I certainly agree. <laughs> um, a lot of topics to talk about this morning. We want to focus on our uh, comprehensive community plan, mm -hmm. or community comprehensive plan. Uh, I guess I should say, and um, uh, the progress we're making on it, we know your office is responsible for it, and uh, maybe you can give us a kind of a broad outline of what the plan is, why we need it, uh, what some of the elements are, and uh, how we're progressing. Yes, I'd be happy to. The comprehensive plan um, is in its most elemental, in its basic form, uh, is a plan that sets out the future for um, the town and lays out a pathway to achieve that 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 vision, that future vision. Um, in in comprehensive plans are constructed in such a way that um, you you there's 13 elements that we have to address in the plan: economic development, um, housing, um, historic and cultural uh, features, agriculture economic development, um, natural hazard, natural hazards, there's, there's a whole host of things that we have to address. And for each one of those, we set out a vision for, uh, there's a 20 year planning period for this plan. Uh, so we're, 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 we're thinking about what the town's going to be like in 2035. Wow. Um, that we set out a vision for each one of these, make a vision statement. This is how we want the town to be in 2035 with regard to housing, for example. That, that, that we then establish some goals um, to achieve that uh, vision. We establish some policies to, uh, to, to achieve those goals. And then we set out a series of uh, very specific action items with responsible parties and timelines and budgets and so forth to um, to uh, uh, to implement those policies and so it's kind of a hierarchy mm -hmm. of, of 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 making things happen to to achieve uh, you know, achieve our goals for that period. It acts as a guide not just for for us for for public officials but it uh, as a guide for citizens and developers, anybody right. uh, uh, interested in, 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 in the town. So it's a general, general plan for how we want, us, how we want to proceed. And does, uh, once this plan is completed and uh, accepted and adopted by the town, uh, does your office kind of uh, monitor how we're doing to plan? I mean, oh yeah, but it, yeah. Back? As I said, there's a there's a, for each item there is a, for each element there is a set of um, uh, action items, and, mm -hmm. and 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 as I said, there's a, a responsible party for carrying out those actions. Most of those will end up uh, being in uh, my office, or uh, I'll be. The my office will be driving that forward to make okay. sure that we're working on implementation. Sounds like it's a very important uh, piece of our town's uh, guiding architecture. Um, how, where are you along the process in terms of uh, uh, completion of this task? And then, if you can, um, is there a, a deadline or have you set a goal for completion? Um, we have two elements in draft form so far: um, um, economic development and. Um, uh, services and facilities. We, uh, I'm working on, currently working on housing. Um, I originally set out a, at a, a schedule where we would basically turn out an element per month. We're, I've been lagging behind uh, being able to provide um, content to keep on that yeah. task, but we're getting there. And, yeah. and um, so at that rate, we will, you know, finish sometime with draft elements of of the of the of of the plan sometime next summer yeah. and then we will um, then we we take some time to kind of look at all of those individual elements and make sure that they're internally yeah. consistent and that the plan as a whole speaks with one voice and that it is that it that it works well and then it goes to statewide planning for their approval then it comes back to 
the um, the planning board, who is ultimately responsible for all right. of this anyway. Right. It goes back to the planning board for a series of public hearings. Uh, and then it goes to the town council for a series of public hearings. Um, and then it's voted up or down. Yeah, and, and, um, and of course it, then it has to be approved by um, statewide planning. Right. One of the things that's important about getting it approved by statewide planning in, in the, there's there's lots of talk about it being this is our plan this is a local plan we shouldn't you know work with this right. uh, so in 1980 the Rhode Island has what's called a reciprocal uh, comprehensive planning process in 1988 uh, they set out the comprehensive planning and land use act which established this sort of reciprocal not sort of uh, uh, this reciprocal um, uh, nature to the planning process and that is we have a plan that's local right. that's that's but it has to it has to follow some it has to follow guidelines from the state it has to be in alignment with the state's guide plans and the reason why that is is that once our local plan and the, and the state guide plans are in alignment it means that the state um, has to abide by our comprehensive plan when they're working on their policies and projects um, uh, with regard to Portsmouth. So, so they yeah. they can't just come in and you know with a big hammer and 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 do things that are not um, consistent with our comprehensive right. plan. So that's why, I mean, it's kind of an irony that there are there are. There are those who say it should be a, it, it's our local plan, and you know we shouldn't pay any attention to the state. But if we don't have a comprehensive plan approved by the state, then they can do precisely what is feared: right. is come in and 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 operate yeah. uh, inconsistent with our plan. So, so could I try a, a kind of a maybe a probably dangerous, but maybe try a, <laughs> try an example of that? If our comprehensive community plan talks to some extent about business development mm -hmm. along some of our East Main or West Main roads, which coincidentally are state highways. Yeah. And um, we have some language that describes specifically what we'd like to see and not see. And then the state later on adopts all of that and agrees and subscribes to all of that in agreement with us. Uh -huh. And some point later on, the highway department comes in and decides to do something that's in direct contradiction to the plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we go back to get the state to support us because they've agreed to our absolutely, plan? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. And when when the plan gets, when it, when our plan gets in draft form and completed, statewide planning takes that draft and circulates it among all the state agencies. Right. And circulates it among all of the communities right, so, in Rhode so Island. So in it is a kind of a check and balance. Process. That's right, and yeah. so they, you know, state agencies are basically put on notice. Here's the 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 the, the, the local comprehensive right. plan, and um, they have to act accordingly. So oh, that's great. Yeah, that's that, great. That's, that is the most important. Part. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's a guide for yeah. us here well, locally yeah, course, and sure. a vision for locally, but. But um, statewide, yeah. that is the important connection. Yeah. And so, you know, you're talking about the process. Um, and a couple parts to a question here. Mm -hmm. First one, uh, maybe I'd like to discuss a little bit um, where you're getting your inputs from and what different kinds of work. I know there were some uh, recent efforts to, and, and in fact, I guess the town did create a, a committee with a rather long name. Uh, <laughs> See, Portsmouth citizens interested in the comprehensive community planning process community committee. Right, right. Committee. But in addition to that, um, uh, you're getting input from, for instance, we have an economic development committee, mm -hmm. we have an agriculture committee. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. of those people are making inputs. Yes, they are. I, I are providing as, inputs as we get to right. those particular right. elements. Um, yes, they are. Original, I, a couple of years ago, as you know, our comprehensive plan is, our current one, right. was written in 1992, yes, updated sir. in 2002. We're supposed to have a five-year update, so right. we're right. way past right. um, where we should be. So a couple of years ago, I went to the planning board, who is ultimately right. responsible for producing the plan, and said to them, look, I think the quickest and best way for us to proceed, and I think the most efficient, efficient way for us to proceed is for me to 
write a draft. I mean, I think it. I think the document needs to be written in one voice. If right. it, if if you have a bunch of committees yeah, and a bunch of separate thirteen things, thirteen different views, right? Yeah, it it shows yeah, in the I'm document, sure and so. Um, my job is basically to get something down on paper, using the guidelines from the state and knowing, and using the, the the previous plan and and looking at uh, what our surrounding communities' yeah. comprehensive plans look like and so forth. Kind of melding all this together, I, I it's my job to get a draft out there it's for everybody to talk about and 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 yell and scream about and 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 give me input or give the planning board right. input yeah. input so um that's the way we've been proceeding there is a committee uh, or um, when we first started this um there were those who felt like they wanted to um uh, 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 comment more directly on 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 the draft and so they Across went the to the board, right? yeah they yeah. went to the council and they asked to set up a committee and right. that that committee well, is in place and they have been what we've been doing is the planning board has been holding a workshop uh, the last Wednesday of each of each month on a given element um, and at that point anybody can right. I'm I of course uh, uh, take comment at any time from anyone right. to, to, to my office and try and in, incorporate it in what I'm doing. But um, in in this case, we've set up this yeah. series of workshops. Well, well, so maybe now would be a good time to talk about that a little bit. Um, uh, I think I recall some months ago that there was a uh, publication that came out from the town or maybe from your office about workshops and plans and the progress that you're making and when these and dates. That mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The different elements are going to be available in yep. different public workshops. Yep, yep. If someone wants to find out about that, um, where, where can they go to get that information? There's a, we have a whole section on our website for the comprehensive okay. community plan. If you go onto the, the main page, the first it's the town over website. the website. Yeah, and and, and we, I publish. We publish all the drafts. We mm -hmm. publish the schedule. If I have to make the schedule slip, that's that's pushed up there. That's put up there. A series of vision statements for each of the elements. Um, there's quite a bit of information okay. there, and to, to keep people involved. And if people are interested in reading, uh, either accessing the old plan, mm -hmm. or maybe reading some of the drafts of the new elements that are out there, are any of those available? Yeah, they're all. It's so, all through online. the same yes. general uh, area. Yes. There, yeah, it's okay. all online. Okay. That's right. Good. Well, that's great. Um, so. Uh, Thinking about the plan and thinking about the future, 25 years or maybe even five years or so. Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about, you mentioned you're just about done with the EDC portion of this. Uh, the Navy has tank farms one and two that we're in the process, we hope, of mm -hmm. getting back at some point. Mm -hmm. And then the Raytheon has a couple of major buildings that they've put on the market because of some you know, market changes yep. that they're making. Yep. Uh, just general, how does the plan, uh, I mean, and we don't have too much time left, but in general, as you're putting a comprehensive plan together, that element of a community comprehensive plan together, um, how do you kind of anticipate that or incorporate that? Well, it's it's it it it's probably inappropriate to to put into a 20-year comprehensive plan um, about specific projects yeah. or topics or, and so forth. And, and what you try and do is is set up more of a general policy on yeah. how you're going to deal with them. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to we have a policy in this particular economic development that says that um, uh, element that that says that we're going to um, when we're when we're talking about economic development we will play to our strengths right, what so. uh, uh, Portsmouth strengths and yeah. so one of our strengths of course is um, is the marine industry and the tech uh, industry yeah. and 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 uh, naval maritime um, uh, uh, industry here as well and so we put into well, there's a policy that we're going to concentrate on that. Can I? I just I don't want to interrupt you. That's here, right. but This is an exciting part of a, a next chapter. <laughs> we're just coming to the end of right. our program here for this uh, segment of Portions this week. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to have you back again. Do it again. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Okay. Welcome back to the second half of Portions this week, and our guest Rich Rayner, our town's uh, town manager. Welcome back, Rich. How are you doing? Town administrator. <laughs> Town administrator, I beg your pardon. No, no, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> it's been several months since you were on the program. I think yeah. you were here in January. 
Yeah, it's been and, too long. Yeah, all right, well, yeah, you're the second person today that said that. <laughs> this is a scheduler's dream, you know, that's my yeah. other job, so we'll so be knocking on your door more often. Sure thing. But um, I think part of what we want to do today for, uh, for this kind of a brief uh, discussion is uh, you're um, just past, I think, your first year yep. in a job. Yeah, so you've had time to catch your breath a little bit, maybe, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and look back at what you've got accomplished, sure thing. and then and then maybe with some reflection on that, what you hope to, some of the major sure. things you hope to do going forward. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I kind of anticipated that kind of question, so I, before I came in this morning, I just started jotting down. It's easy to get complacent sometimes, and you, and the days go by, and yeah. you think, boy, I, I haven't got anything done. I, you all know I come from a military background. And I'm just used to things going very yeah. fast. And you're in a battle rhythm that, that goes 12, 13 hours a day, yeah. minimum. And uh, I just started jotting down, what have we done this year? Uh, and and uh, it just went on. And in no particular order, I'm just going to write down. I, I'm going to pound out some of the, yeah, uh, to sure. you some let's, of the things that we've accomplished. Well, I, I'm sure the whole town would like we, to hear. Uh, we maintained our AAA bond rating with S&P. We achieved a AA2 rating with Moody's, and we're on track for a AA1 rating in the next uh, evaluation. We completed uh, department audits. Um, we hired uh, a new building inspector for the, uh, the outgoing uh, building inspector, plus we uh, hired an assistant building inspector. We have a new business development director. We elevated uh, Gary, your previous guest, to department head status. Uh, we consolidated the finance and the tax office. Uh, we have on referendum for November uh, the uh, question to the public. Uh, Let's make the uh, town clerk an appointed vice and elected position and get politics out of that office. Uh, we solidified the uh, rec department uh, or the rec director position. Uh, we've hired a clerk at DPW. Uh, we finally uh, have an operational uh, wind turbine. Uh, we've, we've solved that. Uh, we, are, uh, we have in place and we're enforcing our wastewater ordinance. Uh, we've refurbished uh, and renovated the police gun range and their training facility. We've hired a new, or a correction, we've uh, 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 procured a new harbor master boat. Uh, we have uh, on referendum uh, a new police station, which I hope gets passed yeah. in November. Uh, we've uh, installed uh, a new heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system in town hall and the fire. Uh, fire building. We've installed LED lighting throughout Town Hall. Uh, we've uh, secured approval for renovation of the Brown House. Uh, we've begun uh, refurbishment of the Sandy Point Beach House. Uh, we've upgraded Glen Park toilet facilities. We procured the uh, <laughs> it's uh, incredible. Uh, Mountain Hope Park, new roof at the Phelps House, upgraded our financial accounting software. It goes on for pages and pages. Upgraded or, or negotiated two labor contracts reinstituted yeah. a, an employee evaluation system. We secured funding for the new dog park, and we've already been constru begun construction on that. Um, we uh, created a uh, new facilities manager position in, consul in uh, cooperation with the school. Uh, I'm not reading everything. Uh, we've yeah. implemented uh, succession planning for uh, key personnel. Uh, we've implemented uh, a web-based uh, geog uh, geographic information system that's available to everybody on our web. Um, I, I, oh my gosh. I can go on and on. I've got four pages <laughs> worth of things that we've done. So there is a lot going on yeah. uh, in the, I, 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 within the administration. And my plan is to present this uh, in, in a letter to the town council Great. at the next town council I meeting. You uh, so that they can see what, the, what we've done uh, throughout the, the year that I've been here, and it's not just me, but uh, they can see what this staff is doing for the right. town. Um, and then mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot uh, already on our plate for the coming right. year. As you know, the fiscal year has already started. So if passed, we'll begin uh, construction next year of the new police station. Uh, we have uh, secured the approval and the funding for the renovation of the Brown House, and by this time next year, uh, we should have a completely renovated Brown House as the seat of our new recreation department. We'll have uh, hopefully executed the RFP uh, for uh, the Glen Farm Stables, and we'll get that back on track. Uh, I hope uh, by this time next year that we have a completed uh, draft of the comprehensive plan. 
Uh, you know, we kick-started right. that this year. Every year, I went back for notes for years ad nauseum. Every year for over 10 years, we said we're going to complete the comprehensive Compl plan, right. and we never did it. Right. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Um, I, am, I look forward to continuing working with the school. We have a very close relationship with the school department. Uh, we've created the new facilities management position, uh, but also we've combined facilities management between the town and the school. I look forward this year to uh, doing the same thing with uh, in our IT realm um, and also in the HR realm. Uh, next year we'll hire uh, an HR director and then uh, we will utilize the clerks from uh, uh, the school side and uh, we look forward to consolidating the HR wow. function and having for the first time an HR, a true professional HR director, not that our benefits coordinator right. is not professional, right. but we will have an HR right. director right. that reports right. directly to me and is not part of the union um, in charge of our HR uh, agenda uh, for the over 300 employees of the town, including the school teachers. Wow. Um, I hope that we can uh, pass in November the town clerk uh, referendum, and if we make that an appointed position, um, we will implement that in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, because obviously there will be a town clerk that will be elected in November and we're not going to change that. Uh, look forward to continuing the development of the Recreation right. Department and solidifi solidifying our gains there. Um, I look forward to, uh, right now we're going to, we're, we're embarked on a, on a project to revamp uh, or recreate, in some instances, uh, job descriptions for every employee in town um, and then developing an updated policy manual that is in sync with current laws and also the negotiated right. contracts that we have with each of our four unions. Uh, we look forward, we've started the project where we're, uh, we've, we've nearly completed a project to streamline the business permitting process in the town uh, that not only streamlines that process but uh, makes it more transparent, but also an easier uh, thing to accomplish with better customer yep. service. Encourage more growth and business. Encourage right, the yeah. growth, but also uh, increase it, it better the, the customer service that's provided right. to our citizens and our residents. And then take that lesson learned from this project and start looking, start other streamlining right. other business right. operations in town hall. Uh, we've uh, revamped uh, town hall hours. We're open later on Thursdays so that people can get in. They're not rushing to get into town hall uh, at least one day a week. Um, and then uh, it, it's good for the employees because that means that we'll get out a little bit earlier on Fridays. So, so we've, we've done that um, and we've gone from uh, essentially a 35 to 38 hour work week to a 40 hour work week. Um, so we're, there, there's lots of things happening. We're going to conduct a, a space need uh, and space use study of Town Hall. How can we better utilize the space that we have in Town Hall? Um, we've already begun and I look forward to continuing development of a, a maintenance and a planned maintenance program wow. for our town parks. Uh, too many of our town parks have fallen into disrepair wow. and disuse and then part of it is it's, it's kind of a self-propagating sure problem. Right. If they fall apart people don't want right. to use them. Let's fix them. Um, We've procured the Mount Hope property. I look forward to next year uh, renovating uh, the, the property, repairing the seawall, and turning that into yeah. uh, a beautiful And aren't you in the process right now of having an RFP that's either gone out or you got responses and back? Together with the AIPC, right. uh, the RFP has gone out. We're soliciting uh, the architectural yeah. proposals yeah, now. The ALT. Uh, Equinic Island Land Trust. Oh, yeah. what, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're going to revamp our website. We're going to uh, we're going to try to make things more transparent, right. not just on the financial side, but also uh, easier to do business with town hall. For instance, if you want to come, if there's a job opening, you have to come to town hall. You have to pick up a piece of paper. You have to fill it out. You have to come back in it. And you know you should be able to do, do all of this web. online. Right. You should be able to pay your bills right. online. Uh, you shouldn't be rushing into town hall just to yes. pay. Uh, buy a transfer station sticker right. or pay a dog license or whatever. There's ways we can do this online. Um, we're going to do all that and we're going to try to continue uh, the steady strain approach that we've adopted with respect to crafting of the budget. Uh, we came mm -hmm. in uh, with a 1.27 percent increase on the budget this year um, and uh, we were able to increase a lot of services. We were able to accomplish a lot of work, do some capital projects and I look forward to to working with the Newtown Council to maintain that steady strain approach. 
it's my philosophy that we should never be going down to zero and then jumping back up to 3% in the following year to, to play catch up. And the, in my, uh, you know, I think simple. The analogy I use in my mind is not, not a single person came to me last year and asked for a decrease in pay. Not a single pothole fixed itself. No buildings painted themselves. No, no, no HVAC systems repaired right. themselves. No, not a single truck changed its own oil. So you, if you go to zero, you're moving backwards, right. if you, even if you just take into account the inflation rate. Um, and then you pay for it in the out years. You, you can't do that. You have to adopt a steady strain approach, adopt a mentality of you know, plan maintenance and phase <coughs> replacement. How do, we, how do we maintain what we have and what's the plan to replace it and modernize it as time goes by? And you can't do that with no money. Um, and that's, that's, that's going to be the philosophy moving forward. I think the two biggest projects that Another we have. Another page full, my gosh. Oh, I'm not going to go through all. I'm skipping a lot. But uh, I, I hope that people, if, if anybody watches this, uh, I hope that I leave them with the impression that there's a lot of good work going on by good people in town hall. Um, to, it's very easy to to think that, well, big government is getting in our way. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's not the case. Uh, not with the people that I've been working with and it's certainly not my mentality. Uh, we're trying to do good things for Portsmouth, but we want to do the right things at the right time in the right way, period. <coughs> so I, I almost have to say, is that all? <laughs> no, no, I haven't even touched <laughs> the surface. It's, but, uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, yeah. uh, um, certainly I think a lot of us have experienced the improvements and changes around town, you know, and uh, little things like the Thursday late evening hours, it's, it's such a, it's easy to go down to town hall and get that done. Sure. And I, I, I would say, you know, that um, certainly the general impression and attitude from the town employees that I come in contact with, both at town hall and around town, uh, everybody seems to be pretty positive about our future, yeah. you know, from that one. Yeah, we have a lot yeah. to be positive yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have a good fund balance. Um, I know that uh, one of the things I've been asked about is how are we able to do what we did last year with the budget that we I had. I had that as a question right here well, to ask you that. Um, you know, again, this goes to the staff. Uh, uh, in previous years, uh, revenues accounted for um, about 84% 80, of our budget. Right. Um, now it's about 81%. The rest of it is, uh, you know, whether it's fees or tax collection. Right. Tax collection was huge. Right. Well, and, uh, and you established some enterprise funds which are helping and, and this. Establishment yeah. of we've, we've got about funds. a minute left just to give you an idea of what we're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean no, to go so on for so okay. long. No, but no, it's, no, that's okay. It's, it's great. It, the establishment of the enterprise funds, uh, you know, one in particular that we, we will look at next year that I neglected to mention is the transfer station. Right. You know, how can we do that better? Is right. there a better way to operate that transfer I'm station? I'm sure you'll find it. I'm certain of that. You know, the, uh, the Rhode Island landfill, the Johnson uh, landfill is filling up. Fees are going up. Uh, and yet uh, we have a decrease in our recycling rate. And we have a, an increase in our, our construction debris, right. um, which is we, we have to get our hands around it. There's, there has to be a better way to operate this, we're, which we're, is why our... Fees yeah, went to right. one hundred and sixty dollars. So, yeah. Like well, that. we're going to we're just about to run out of time. I just wanted to say we're going to have a series of other departments on to talk yeah. about things like that, like our waste management group and, yeah. and our recycling group. They're all going to come on the program. Yeah. But uh, a lot of things going on in our town. A lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure. You have, it sounds like you're having a great time. It's we're, it's, it's we're, great. It's uh, it's like being back in command again. So we're it's, out of time. Uh, it's welcome time. back. It's Thanks, your Gary. show, <laughs> and uh, we'll have you on again. Gary, yeah, hit me on again soon. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very much. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Fortunes this week again, and we'll see you next week.